Emmanuel Aren from Primo 1D. Mr. Aren, are you there? Yes, I'm there. Can you hear me well? Yes. We can hear you, yes, but we can't see you yet. Ah, okay. Uh, too bad. Uh, let me check. Is no, that okay? No. You, okay. <laughs> Still learning about your platform. Perfect. So uh, welcome, it's great to have you with us here today. And before we begin, we've actually prepared a question for you. Are you ready for the question? Yes, I'm ready. Perfect. So the question is, how do you what do you think is the most important benefit of RFID and wireless IoT technologies in the retail sector? Well, I think this uh, retail industry uh, went through uh, drastic uh, transformation and changes in the last years. Uh, if you think about, you know, the uh, globalization, the omnichannel, uh, the pandemic, all the logistic issues that we face today, and now the sustainability, sustainability requirements, there are huge transformation, uh, and I really believe that the um, RFID and more generally the uh, IoT technology uh, is really now a must uh, to be able to you know cope with these changes and and uh, conduct all the changes which are needed. So I believe that uh, IoT, uh, the IoT, the wireless IoT will make the, the uh, this uh, retail industry uh, more efficient uh, and most important greener than it is today. Two very important keywords: yeah. efficient efficiency and, and sustainability. Of course, yeah. Very yeah you talk about cost. We need to talk about green, green sector, yes. green industry. Sure, sure. <laughs> All right. So we can hear you very well, and we are looking forward to your presentation. The the picture, however, um, is is not the best. So if there's one uh, option to increase the the Wi-Fi speed, for example, but um, otherwise we can hear you and we get every information, and we will hand over the presentation rights right now. Okay, you mean the the, the webcam is not that good? The picture is not that good? Yeah, the picture is somehow a bit uh, flickering. So we send over the um, the rights, and you should be able to share your screen right now. Okay. Do you see it? Yes. yes. Please switch to the presentation mode, and then you're ready to go. Is that okay like this? Yeah, that's it. Please yeah, go on. The stage is yours. Okay. <laughs> Very good. Let's start. Uh, so I will not introduce uh, Rain RFID because I think that everybody uh, knows very well uh, RFID, the uh, radio frequency identification. Rain is for the UHF, you know, the 900 megahertz uh, frequency. Uh, so everybody knows this technology, everybody knows how to make real-time inventory uh, and trustability using RFID labels. Uh, I think that's more than 10, 20 billions of uh, labels which are used uh, every year. Uh, I will talk about new kind of products, what we call the embedded uh, tags, the embedded uh, RFID tags and what is uh, uh, why do we need embedded RFID tags and what is the value added by this new type of tags? So first of all, why embedded uh, now? Uh, that's very important to understand that there are very strong business and social drivers. It's not just a technology push, it's really driven by business and social needs. And first of all, Customers, of course, customer is king. Customer today is asking for sustainability, 
asking the brand to be much more responsible and of course asking for a better a greater consumer experience and also after sales services. From a business point of view, uh, there are many new business coming in, like selling a product as a service. I mean, not only selling the product, but selling a service associated with the product. Also uh, making money, you know, making business through the repair and upcycling of the products and also the second hand, uh, which is very important and growing very fast now uh, in the retail, uh, in the apparel industry, and also the, the rental of, of goods, you know, renting uh, the goods like uh, for sport items, it's more and more popular right now. At the same time, companies, you know, are putting a lot of attention on corporate social responsibility. And this is completely consistent with the business needs. I mean, the circular economy, the recycling at the end of life of the product are very important requirements which go very well now with the business, the new business models. Uh, from a legal point of view, uh, Europe is, uh, is uh, heading. Oh, I lost my screen. Do you still see my screen? Yeah. Uh, EU is first putting some new regulation, the Green Deal is now active and worldwide there is local uh, regulation which are uh, now uh, in place. And last but not least, the technology is ready, uh, the RAIN RFID technology is really mature today. Uh, we have seen an acceleration of the digitalization with the pandemic. So all of this means that we can bring today uh, and we need to bring more transparency and increase value to all the stakeholders, increase the return on investment. We were talking about price of the tag. I prefer to talk about uh, value added and return on investment. And, and for that, the traceability uh, of the product during the entire life cycle is absolutely key. Uh, and we will meet all these uh, business and social drivers if we can uh, embed a secure and durable RFID tag inside the product uh, at the manufacturing up to the end of life of the product. So what does embedded mean? Um, there was a lot of debate. Uh, you know, everybody is uh, embedded, a bit embedded or a bit more. Uh, so this is quite a semantic question. Uh, and the best way, I think, to answer to this question is to ask questions, to ask the five key questions. Are you inside or are you detachable? Uh, today, most of the RFID uh, labels, you know, there are sort of paper labels uh, or textile label are mostly detachable. Uh, and of course, if you want to be embedded, and stay in the product for the entire life cycle of the product is better to be inside. Can be rack tagged, can be really embedded systems. But there are different levels of inside versus outside. So I think this is not the most important because depending on the end product, uh, you know, the, uh, what happens? I, I've seen the message. Depending on the end uh, product, uh, different type and different formats of embedded tags will, uh, uh, will be suitable. Then the most important is durable. Uh, again, uh, to bring the necessary added value, you have to be durable uh, versus one-shot use, of course. Uh, that means resistance to chemicals, because, for example, washing uh, means chemicals, resist to mechanical stress, to sometimes high temperature. So this durability uh, is a key challenge and uh, a key feature of, a dura of an embedded RFID tag. Has to be non-intrusive. That means guarantees the product integrity and also be compatible with the end product manufacturing and usage. 
Uh, of course, if you are embedded, uh, you need to, to maintain the product integrity uh, and you want to avoid, of course, that your customers have to invest or change their manufacturing techniques to embed the RFID tag. So the non-intrusiveness is also very, very important. Uh, like to again say sustainable, sustainable uh, tag is very important. Uh, we want to go to sustainability uh, and of course uh, you need to embed a device into the end product which has a negligible carbon footprint which is based on recycled materials because you don't want by embedded an electronic device into the end product, you don't want to add a carbon footprint to the, uh, to the end product. And the last is one of the very important one that uh, usually, uh, which is not too much uh, debated, but is really important, is the performance of the RFID. Uh, you, you need to be able to read the tag, even if it's embedded uh, into different kind of materials or in different kind of environments. Uh, and of course, when it is embedded, it becomes uh, a bit more difficult to read because, uh, for example, if you are embedded into a garment, there will be the body shielding effect. Uh, so readability becomes again an important uh, challenge uh, when you talk about embedded tag. Uh, and Today, if you look at the, uh, most of the embedded tags, uh, to be embedded, uh, the manufacturer reduce the size of the tag. And usually when you take an inlay, you reduce the size of the inlay, uh, you reduce the RF performance. So that's important to have also products where there is no compromise between the tag size reduction and the RF performance. And that's quite uh, uh, a technical challenge uh, for that. So what are the benefits of the, of the embedded RFID tag? Of course, you will bring, as I said again, uh, a secure ID from manufacturing to end of life of the product. You will maximize the benefits. You will add more value. That means you will uh, you know, accelerate the return on investment of the uh, RFID uh, technology. Uh, by monitoring the product life cycle, you will uh, uh, enable broader use case. Uh, we'll see that later on, uh, not only inventory or logistics, but broader use case of the RFID. Uh, and at the end, it has to be, and it, it is a game changer uh, with new business models and uh, clearly enhanced customer experience. So let me talk a bit about Primo 1D, because if I talk about embedded uh, RFID tag, it's because, of course, Primo 1D is manufacturing and delivering uh, this kind of embedded uh, tag, and we, we have quite a unique uh, product. So our product is um, a RAIN RFID tag, uh, I would say, as everybody, but very different because we did miniaturize and integrate the tag in, into a textile yarn. So my product is really a piece of text, you know, textile yarn, uh, and inside we have integrated uh, the RFID chip, uh, standard RFID chip, uh, and the antenna, and wrap this into a textile yarn. So this is a very unique form factor, and you can imagine that uh, uh, a textile yarn can be integrated easily in many kind of different products and material. And of course, we have a strong IP portfolio with more than 20 international patents. So it is designed for product lifetime. You see that about a 13 centimeter uh, tag, uh, 30 centimeter yarn. Uh, it can resist to a lot of chemicals, not all, of course, because depending on the application, but most of the uh, corrosive uh, chemicals. Uh, we have specific design to, uh, you know, resist to very uh, harsh mechanical stresses. Uh, we, the tank can go up to more than 200 degrees C temperature that will make it compatible with most of the industrial processes. Uh, and in terms of sustainability, you know, this is a chip that means basically a grain of sand. 
uh, with a tiny uh, copper antenna and, and textile. So we have a lowest carbon footprint uh, on the market uh, today. How to use it? Uh, because have an embedded product means you know how to embed it uh, into the uh, end product. So, for example, for apparel, we developed uh, a specific design, which is basically a, a textile strip. That means our uh, e-thread yarn is integrated into a textile strip, uh, about 40 centimeter long, uh, 4 millimeter wide, and you can integrate uh, very easily the strip into the apparel using very standard uh, overlock stitching method. You know, uh, if you look, uh, hopefully you see the, the small video uh, with a very simple feature which is attached to a standard overlock uh, machine, uh, you will integrate uh, our uh, e-strip uh, on, in the side of the garment, inside, you know, the uh, the overlock, and that make it basically invisible for customers uh, and and very robust for the life cycle of the of the garment. Uh, for industrial assets, because we are talking about, you know, retail is not only uh, apparel. Uh, and logistics is not only about garments, it's also about a lot of industrial assets. So we developed design and techniques to integrate our uh, e-thread tag uh, into different type of materials, uh, mainly by uh, molding into plastics or by uh, extrusions uh, and integration into composite materials. Uh, we have a very specific design to be integrated into uh, tires that mean uh, able to be integrated into uh, rubber uh, and survive to the vulcanization process. Uh, we also uh, integrate it into smart cable. And I can tell you that the logistic of cables uh, in, uh, <laughs> in most of the industries is quite a challenge. Uh, so we can extrude and integrate our yarn uh, inside the cable inside the cable of our customers without, without any change of the process. We do the same with pipes and hose uh, by integrating our textile yarn inside the textile reinforcement of the of the of the hose. Uh, and we can also, and we do integrate uh, into twine and uh, and ropes uh, by using standard braiding methods. So, how do we use such an embedded uh, product, uh, and what is the added value uh, which is brought, you know, by by this embedded device compared to a standard label? So for retail, uh, that's important to have a real source uh, tagging uh, to be able to have a seamless integration into the garment and to also enhance the management of your supplier. In the transport and logistics, uh, this is an RFID tag, so you will be able to go through your real-time inventory, omnichannel management, and so on. In store, same story, inventory, management, and replenishment will be done. But because it is embedded, uh, it is not only a traceability device, it's also a very efficient anti-theft device, uh, EAS. So then you can bring with RFID not only the inventory uh, value, but also the, uh, a true EAS, a very efficient EAS in your store. Uh, in terms of use for customers, uh, you know, the buy online uh, and pick in store uh, will be, of course, enabled with such a product. And customer returns is also a big issue. And if you have no more labels uh, on your product, it will be very difficult to put back your garment or your accessory inside your inventory. So by uh, using an embedded RFID tag, which is still active after the, the, the sales, will allow the brand to put it back uh, into the inventory in a very uh, efficient way. Just by a click, you put it back in your RFID uh, inventory 
very very easily. Sustainability is uh, clearly the new uh, driving force uh, and the new uh, added value of the uh, embedded RFID. I talked about second hand. If you go to Paris, uh, last uh, floor of the Galerie Lafayette, this entire floor, floor is dedicated now to sales of secondhand garments uh, and, and accessory in general. So that means really that's a new business for, for, for retailers and for brands uh, for the secondhand sales. Rental, as I said, mostly for sporting goods today, be able to, to rent products uh, so you can use it for the weekend and give it back on Monday. Uh, and the last one, which is also very important now, is the recycling, how to manage efficiently uh, the recycling of the product at the end of life, how to know which product it is, where it comes from, what is the history, how to automate the recycling of this, uh, of this textile uh, using the embedded RFID tag, which is still there and still active, will help a lot to manage this recycling activity. For industrial assets, um, this is a bit different story, but uh, we still have the inventory and traceability, which is needed all along the logistics, and but also in the use of the uh, of the end product. So I will not go through all details, uh, but you see that from tires to cables to uh, workwear, uh, and also we have application in the agriculture. Uh, using RFID, uh, we can really bring uh, a lot of added value. Uh, and compared to retail, you have the maintenance and the repair, which is very important for all the, the industrial assets. But the end of life management become also now uh, a very key uh, requirement uh, for all these industrial assets. So that means you will support all the digital the digitalization strategy, you will support a new business model using RFID, uh, you will bring services to your, your end customers, and that's quite new for RFID, and I think it is a, a very strong uh, growth factor for the future. So I will finish with just a brief outlook and, and talk about the challenges, uh, because it's not easy to embed RN RFID. Uh, so again, uh, the context is extremely favorable for the digitalization of our industries, for the retail, and for the business transformation. Uh, Challenges are still there, even solutions exist, but they are challenging because in terms of technical requirements, an embedded product will require performance, as I said before, and durability. And every use case is different. Uh, you cannot have one product for everything. Every use case, every kind of product will require a specific solution to bring the right performance and the right durability. So you need technology platforms and design that will be able to adapt to apparel, to shoes, to tires, to cables, to many kinds of different products. Uh, we are addressing large volume uh, markets, clearly. Uh, so the competitiveness and the scalability of the solution is key. Uh, I prefer again to talk about added value than price, but uh, at some point we have to meet uh, market prices. Uh, that's why the competitiveness of different solutions is very key. Uh, and being able to manufacture billion of products per year uh, is absolutely key to drive the, the cost down. Uh, and last but not least, uh, the time to market, which is always very important, uh, is uh, really driven by the deployment of the new use case. It's not a technology push, it's really uh, driven by uh, how the uh, manufacturer are capable of selling services deploying these services uh, at, their, at the end user and demonstrate the, the added value and the return on investment. But clearly now I believe that the embedded RFID is now. We said it is the future. I prefer to say it is now. It is happening. 
and we make circularity happen. Uh, we do it with e-thread, but of course there are uh, other technologies existing on the market and we are happy to make this circularity uh, happen and bring more solutions for a sustain more sustainable uh, industry. So that's the end of my presentation. Thank you for your attention. Thank you very much for your presentation. Yes, it was really interesting to hear about embedded RFID tags in the garments and that they have to be really durable to withstand all sorts of extreme uh, um, situations. And also um, there has to be a, a no compromise between the tag size and the RF performance, which is a technical challenge, as you mentioned. Um, yeah. so. Without further ado, let's see what questions we have for um, you today yeah, let's from the chat. The, let's see the questions. And here's already the first one. Yes, so what importance do you see in the area of packaging, i.e. integrating the tags into paper-based products? Hmm. I, I'm dreaming of it. <laughs> <laughs> Now this is uh, this is one of our goal and potential application uh, which is not yet uh, active. Uh, uh, the packaging, you know, if uh, I mean to 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 add integrate the tag into a, a package or paper-based product means that. Uh, the packaging has to be reused many times. You have to organize the logistics for, for that. So it, it's possible, but the use case was not uh, yet, you know, uh, requested or, or really, uh, you know, it's not yet in place. But that's something we could do and I would like to explore. Uh, not only paper-based packaging, but also plastic packaging, uh, because packaging is a, is a problem. Uh, packaging uh, made of plastics is a big problem. <laughs> so uh, using RFID, you know, to reduce amount of plastics and uh, be able to reuse packaging and trace a package, uh, I think it would be um, it's it's a very important. Uh, uh, business to develop, but again, this is not yet there. For some reason, I don't fully understand. But sometimes you don't fully understand <laughs> also <laughs> what happened on the market. Okay. All right, let's see the next question. There it is. Do you feel the IoT industry only determined for integrating non-degreeable bioplastics to see UHF tax will remain price for the foreseeable future or could the demand for sustainable plastic become a viable factor? Um, you know, uh, RFID uh, is not only about materials, uh, it's about the usage. So I think that the most important is how to use uh, the, the materials and what is uh, added value uh, you bring to, uh, to, the, to the use case. So I think in plastics, uh, RFID in plastics, uh, and we can do that uh, again, uh, can be uh, very efficient in uh, non you know, degradable plastics to be able to uh, to reduce the consumption and reduce the waste. And also for uh, biodegradable because uh, you need to trace up to the end of life. So for me, um, I like to put, um, I, I like all plastics uh, if, they are, if there is RFID inside to be able to be more efficient and manage them in a better way. Mm -hmm. Definitely. Let's see if there's another question from the chat. Yes. When the garment goes for recycling, does the tag have to be removed before the garment is recycled and can the tags be recycled? Very key question. <laughs> that was the first question that my first customer asked me. <laughs> ah, okay. 
yes. Uh, no, the, the idea, uh, because, you know, uh, removing the embedded tag would be very costly uh, and, and really not efficient. So all the idea is not to remove the tag, uh, but demonstrate, and that's what we are doing today, but demonstrate that the tag uh, is not adding definitely a carbon footprint, uh, and the tag itself can be recycled very easily. So again, if you think about our product, you know, uh, this is a, a grain of sand, so not too, not too big, uh, a tiny copper antenna and a bit of textile. So it can be very easily recycled with the garments without any, uh, you know, without adding any dangerous or, or foreign materials. So yes, the idea is to, uh, to reuse the, the textile, reuse the materials with a tag inside. Okay. Thank you. Okay, let's see if we have one final question. Have Primo One D tags been enabled in some actual use tires? Embedded. Uh, <laughs> uh, all the idea is to integrate uh, the tag uh, in new tires when you manufacture them. So, though we have no experience in embedding into uh, into used tires, uh, I know there are some. Um, some other technologies that try to patch, you know, a, a rubber tag uh, in the inner side of the tire, and you can then uh, tag the used tire. But all our customers, uh, the, which are the, the tier one uh, tire manufacturer, they really aim to integrate the tag for when you manufacture the, the tire, for new tires. So this is definitely our, uh, our focus. Uh, but, you know, we are a very innovative company, so we're always keen to look at different uh, usage. Okay, so everybody out there who is now wondering what what, um, what can be done beyond the shown, shown solution, please contact Primo1D and see what is possible. We already heard there are um, options um, to embed the uh, same kind of solution for plastics or for packaging. So yeah, a lot is possible. Yes, thank you very much. I believe we've now run out of time. So everyone, if you have more questions, please feel free to forward them to us and we will directly forward your questions to Mr. Aren after the live stream so he can get back to you directly. Yes. And one more note, Primo 1D is also our partner on the business platform Wireless IoT Search. So if you would like to find out more information about Primo 1D, feel free to visit the, their company profile and products, contacts, and more information on the business platform. Yes. So thank you very much for, for your uh, great presentation today and hope to see you soon. Yep. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.